Joining us via Zoom, Dr. Leo Galland, who is here to help us and explain what we can do. Doctor, thanks for being with us. It's great to be speaking with you today and bringing this message. All right. So is it too late if all of a sudden maybe we haven't been really boosting our immune system, but we start right now? Uh, do we have a fighting chance against the coronavirus? Well, first of all, 80% of people at least who get infected with the coronavirus have a kind of trivial illness and don't even need medical care. So what I've put together are some tips to help people be part of that 80 percent and this quarantine that we're undergoing right now actually buys us some time to prepare in what way well uh, eventually as governor cuomo said 40 to 80 percent of people are going to get coronavirus in new york and as the white house has said this is going to go on for several months so the purpose of the lockdown is to stop the flood of new cases that's overwhelming the health care system. It's going to take about three weeks for that to actually be effective. And then the number of new cases, hopefully, will come in slowly. So in the meantime, you can be getting stronger, which is good for yourself. It's also good for the community, because if you're not needing hospitalization, then that's good for everybody else. And what we're learning, doctor, is that coronavirus uh, does not discriminate when it comes to age, which, you know, in the beginning when we first started hearing about it, everyone was saying, no, oh, you know, it's really something that's going to affect you if you're 60 plus, 70 plus, 80 plus. But we're seeing 18 year olds as well. Right. That, that was information that came out of the experience in China. It's very different here. Uh, half the patients who are in the hospital are between 20 and 50 um, in New York. And um, children still seem to be doing better uh, than adults. But uh, the death rate is higher among the older adults. The rate of serious illness and hospitalization is the same in, uh, in any adult. All right. So, Doctor, let's talk about some of the things that you say can boost our immune system. I see melatonin here. I know elderberry. Can you walk us through some of the things that sure, you have found to be um, so beneficial? Right. So what I've been doing is doing a deep research on the biology of the coronavirus. And I've concluded that there are two areas we can work on. One is immune support, and the other is building up protective factors in our bodies that help us less to be to be uh, less sensitive to the kind of damage that coronavirus Such as? causes. Okay, well, I'll start with the immune system. Two most important factors, aside from the basics, and you know what the basics are. It's get enough sleep, get some regular exercise, don't smoke, stop vaping if you're doing that, eat a well-balanced diet. Sleep, I think, is very important. Mm -hmm. The two things that are most important for antiviral immunity that are readily available are vitamin D and melatonin. Uh, I think everyone at this time of year in this part of the country should be taking vitamin D, anywhere from 1,000 to maybe 5,000 units a day. It's best absorbed with your main meal of the day. Okay, but melatonin so, I think of as in the nighttime. Right, well melatonin, your body makes melatonin at night uh, when it's dark. Uh, I think you should avoid watching late night TV. You should stop using computers at 11 or 12. Uh, uh, try and limit artificial light at night because those all interfere with melatonin production. Most people think of melatonin as being something that's good for sleep, but melatonin is very important for immunity. It also has anti-inflammatory effects in the body. And you don't need a high dose of melatonin. Mm. Your body normally makes maybe of a half a milligram a night. So that's, uh, that's a, you can a very it. reasonable amount of supplementation. All right, and Doctor, as we're running out of time a little bit, I, I see that you have okay. take curcumin and right. resveratrol. Resveratrol, two widely available supplements that help combat the kind of inflammation that makes you sick with coronavirus. Curcumin mm. is found in turmeric, the spice, right. resveratrol and red grapes. Uh, taken on a regular basis, they build up slowly in your cells and can be protective. All right. Doc, doctor, where can people find you if they want more information? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to be posting a whole protocol um, pretty soon. Uh, my website's uh, 
drgallum.com. I'll try to have it up in a number of locations. All right. An analysis and recommendations. All right. Awesome. Great to have you on. Thank you so much for uh, Good to talk with giving you. us some great tips. And, and now we can go out shopping for this. Thank you, Doctor. All right. It is 940 and still ahead. Let's take a look at the stock market. Do we really want to?